Hello friends, this is Dr. R.B. Kuswa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you are new to channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further notification. So today we are going to discuss about the mega esophagus uh, in a three months old German Shepherd puppy. By the age, this dog doesn't appear that it is a three months old. It appears that it is hardly one and a half or maximum two months old. And uh, it is one of the puppy of the six liter size. So the remaining the five puppy, they are well maintained and their body weight is more than this one so history is that uh, this puppy is regurgitating the food content from the last uh, one month and uh, till the weaning means up to the two months when this puppy is fed on the milk only so there is no problem but after that means from the last one month when this animal is shifted from uh, milk diet to the solid diet then it started showing the sign of the regurgitation so we palpated the abdomen so in abdomen because of the hard faces so we initially confused that it could be a foreign body but when we took the radiograph so then we come to know that so this is a case of the dilated so on the plain radiograph esophagus was dilated and the heart was masked and the food content also seen in the esophagus then we went for the contrast radiography that is barium cello and in the barium cello the barium retained in the esophagus so by history and by the clinical sign by history by clinical sign and the plain radiography and contrast radiography then we come to know that this is a case of the mega esophagus so as far as the treatment is concerned so mega esophagus it is basically a congenital in this particular case so is very difficult to treat because there is a failure to contraction and retain retention of food so but we can follow the some managemental practice like uh, vertical feeding means we offer the food to this particular animal in the vertical position for that a belly chair is available we su suggest owner to buy the belly chair so that animal adopt for the belly chair feeding or even just provide the feed by the some height by placing the food on the central table something like that so that whatever the food it comes through the gravitational force come into the stomach so that is the one my mental practice and beside that we can give the metaglobromide or sisa pride at the rate of 5 to 15 milligram per kg body weight uh, three a times day and uh, we also give the antibiotic because there may be chance of in this particular when animal frequently regurgitated so what happened uh, there is a chance of the expression of the content so it may cause the spreading pneumonia so this is the reason why we suggest antibiotic uh, therapy also so this is uh, the only managemental practice and then let's see the whether the this animal is responding to the metaclopram right or the this uh, antibiotic the response to the this mega esophagus is not the treatment is very very difficult so we can manage so definitely if the female dog given the birth to the five six liter side then if one of the dog is not uh, you can say growing as per the other puppy so then it means stunted growth if you suspecting that the particular puppy's growth is stunted and along with the if there is also a regurgitation so normally we suspect for the persistent right erotic arch or the mega esophagus so in case of persistent right erotic arch in that in radiograph if you see the radiograph of the persistent right erotic arch so what happened in that particular case the ballooning of the esophagus is cranial to the heart base of the heart whereas in case of the mega esophagus it is a dilatation of the esophagus throughout the thoracic cavity means up to the diaphragm yeah up to the cardia so by this you can differentiate whether the case is persistent right erotic arch or the mega iso so this is something about the mega esophagus uh, in dog and uh, as i told you we can manage only by the vertical feeding so thank you very much for watching this particular video